We still have a few seats uh, around uh, for those that are standing. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone. My name is Bobby Clark. I am president of Kentucky Student Ventures Corporation, a Kentucky nonprofit that is uh, established to help uh, establish student-run businesses in high schools and colleges throughout the Commonwealth of Kentucky. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you tonight. Uh, this uh, event, uh, you'll learn more about its origins and awesome ink and uh, how it happened, and I'm just proud to be part of this uh, very special uh, evening tonight to recognize uh, a number of folks that have made some major contributions to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I wanted to start first uh, by introducing uh, some of the um, sponsors that have made this uh, event possible. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize the uh, Kentucky Small Business Development Centers. Uh, they have been working uh, in the Commonwealth of the small business community for over 25 years. They have uh, 15 centers around the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and their job is to, uh, is to help uh, those would-be entrepreneurs and help establish businesses that want to grow and, and the like, and they provide technical uh, services for them. And uh, it's all free. It's uh, sponsored by the uh, Small Business Administration, and I'd like to recognize Becky Nago. Where are you, Becky? Back in the back there, who's the uh, state director. Thank you for coming. I also want to recognize uh, kybizinfo.com. Uh, they are a uh, small business organization that also helps uh, uh, would-be entrepreneurs find the resources that you need. You can go to kybiz.com and put in your zip code, and it will give you a list of all of the different service providers around the Commonwealth and uh, what they can do to assist you uh, from chambers to other organizations that, that help uh, small businesses in the state. Uh, Kevin Norville couldn't make it tonight, but he's the program director and I'm proud to serve on the uh, state advisory committee of, of this organization. Uh, next, I'd like to recognize uh, the uh, Kentucky Science and Technology Corporation. Uh, they are a private uh, nonprofit uh, that is committed to the advancement of science Technology and Innovation and Economic Development. Uh, founded about uh, 1987 is I think where it started. And uh, they provide uh, resources and kind of the, the right kind of atmosphere uh, for those businesses. Now you've got to do a good business plan and they're vetted, uh, uh, vetted very uh, significantly. Uh, but there's a Kentucky Enterprise Fund and a, probably half a dozen other funds that are available to encourage more high tech type uh, business startup in the com Commonwealth. And knowledge, the knowledge economy and knowledge businesses are the key to uh, uh, Kentucky's uh, uh, economic and, and global future. Uh, Chris Kimmel uh, is the uh, director of the, uh, or president of KSTC. Uh, I knew Chris when he was uh, chief of staff to uh, then Attorney General Steve Bashir, and he couldn't make it tonight. I see Pat in the back. Who else is here from KSTC? Sean O'Leary. Sean O'Leary. Thank, thank you all for your help and, and support of this uh, special event tonight. Uh, I also want to recognize, they're not in your program specifically, but I do want to recognize the uh, Kaufman Foundation's uh, Global Entrepreneur Week. Uh, this week is the, um, uh, from November 15th through uh, November 21st, is uh, Global Entrepreneur Week. I think this is the third or maybe the fourth year that they've done this, and this organization is specifically organized to help stimulate and encourage young people to get involved in, in uh, uh, entrepreneurship and start their own businesses. Um, there are a uh, hundred countries that are currently working on this project this week. 40,000 events have been scheduled around the, uh, uh, around the uh, world, and an estimated 10 million people like that 75 or 100 folks here tonight are having these kind of events and competitions and, and the like all over the world, and uh, uh, we're really proud to have them involved. I want to uh, thank uh, Jonathan Ortmans, who's the head director of the uh, uh, Global Entrepreneur Week, and Erin Wiley, who I met uh, back in August. Uh, she yesterday posted uh, the information about this event and uh, uh, we wanted to uh, get the word out and hopefully uh, this is being streamed live and want to uh, recognize Eric Patrick Marr at Lexinomics who is uh, actually streaming this event live on the internet so when they posted that uh, uh, information yesterday morning on their website this event went global with many others around the, around the world and we're quite proud to be part of that. 
uh, uh, last but not least, in terms of sponsors, uh, and uh, a couple of the folks that uh, uh, work here are going to uh, probably say a little bit more about Awesome. Uh, but Awesome Inc., the place that you're here tonight, uh, was founded uh, last year in 2009 by Luke Murray, Brian Rainey, North Nathan Fort, and Rachel Cunningham. And they are a small business incubator. And for those that may not understand what that means is they create an environment, and as you tour the rest of the facility tonight, you'll see desks around and they rent those desks to entrepreneurs that can't afford the, the traditional rent of, a, of an office and, and uh, so they create resources but probably more importantly is they also create an environment of, of enthusiasm and encouragement and if one of those uh, business owners that are here uh, has trouble or doesn't know the answer to something there are people here that, 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 that can help and I've just been very impressed with uh, the whole gang here at uh, uh, Awesome Inc. I uh, also want to recognize, uh, I, uh, I'm a, a publisher of uh, the Clark Group in, in Lexington, and any business uh, cannot succeed without a diversity of talent. I don't think any of these uh, uh, entrepreneurs that we're going to recognize tonight say they did it by themselves, that they surrounded themselves with a strong team, uh, a diverse team of talent. And I want to recognize uh, Florence Huffman, my business partner. Uh, she's in Kazakhstan uh, tonight. Uh, helping a friend of mine bring back a new three and a half year old daughter uh, that's being adopted and otherwise she would be here tonight and I want to thank my wife Lisa for her support. All right. Now on with the uh, program. Uh, it's my honor to uh, call up in just a moment uh, Jonathan Miller. He is the uh, Kentucky Secretary of Finance Administration Cabinet. Uh, he's leading the administration's efforts for energy efficiency and conservation of state government. Uh, his efforts in just the last few years, uh, I don't know what the number is, but it's saved the Commonwealth uh, millions of dollars by, by finding creative ways uh, to make our state more green. Uh, Jonathan uh, served as state treasurer for eight years and was a former aide to Vice President Al Gore. Uh, his de deputy chief of staff on the Department of Energy. He's a graduate of Harvard, Harvard College and Harvard Law School. And with that, I'd like to uh, bring up my friend, Jonathan Miller.